Hi, this is Mr. D. Hobbs, and welcome to episode 9 of the Fricks.co.uk server. Okay, so Zen has found a copy of the, or a backup of the server. Um, he thinks it was from a couple of days before the griefing, that was in episode 8, but looking at this, it doesn't look like it is a couple of days old. For a start, this house is a lot older than a couple of days, say so near about a month or so. Let's just kill that spider off. Okay, and a few glitches as well, but looks things with that bush there and another one there. Doesn't quite look right, I don't think. Let's go and have a look and see what spawn's like. Yeah, things definitely aren't right on here. This is certainly a lot older than a couple of days anyway. I'm going to collect those bits from the spider. Yeah, Chops' house isn't there. I've got chickens, which I haven't had for ages. So yeah, something's definitely not quite right here. It's a very old backup by the looks of things. Okay, so let's make our way over towards spawn. Hmm, spawn still looks okay. Hmm, where's me into pearls? Too lazy to walk. Mm -hmm. Almost there. Okay, this doesn't look quite right. Let's have a look. Okay, so it looks like I've started again building the, uh, the shops. That's so new. Let's go and have a look at my shop. Okay, yeah, my shop's all on one level. Which, quite a while ago. Hmm. It's going to be quite awkward because things are... Things are going to be quite old. By the things, obviously, we've still got the... Oh, hello, villager. Um, by the things, we've still got the end render. Oh, hello, and also got the... Iron farm. Hmm. No, this looks very, very old. Okay, so it's decided to sort of scrap that back up, and here we are on a brand new server. I've been playing it for about an hour or so by now, just getting a few little bits together. Decided to build, uh, set my base up around here by a little forest and things like that, look quite nice. So as you can see, I've got a few bits, but no armor or anything like that yet. And my first few bits of iron are just smelting. Very, very strange after having lots of diamonds and pretty much endless supply of XP to suddenly have nothing at all and to be very very careful with every single thing you've got just takes a little bit of getting used to ok so let's grab those iron yay one advantage is get to get a lot of achievements again ok so here we are back at spawn and a few rules and things like that on here Same, pretty much the same as they were on the other server except when you one added there about breaking any rules resulting in a permanent burn and here's the message board saying that the spawn is now ready for building on. Okay, we now have a community village. Let's go and have a look at that. Follow the pathway down. Where does it go? Oh, there's some steps over there on the left. Let's go up there. Okay. Well, I've already got wheat growing. But I haven't got any carrots. And as this is a community farm, I'll grab those. I'll replant them, obviously, so somebody else can get them as well. And let's just grab a couple of extra ones here as well. That's its community farm. Thank you very much. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any villagers in this community village, which is a bit of a pain. Could have done with the villagers for trading with, but I'm sure I'll be able to get something sorted out in the future. Oh, potatoes. Oh, we'll have them as well, because I live on potatoes at the start. So let's get all of these. That'll give me a good start with my farm. Oh, no, I don't want to eat that one yet. That's it. Wait until it's cooked. Right, just grab and pick those up, that's it. Just have a look around to see if there's anything else. Oh, a few more potatoes and carrots. Uh, definitely no villagers around in here. Looks like they've all been wiped out. It's one problem, as soon as you start entering a village, that's when all the mobs can spawn in there. And if you don't protect the village, the mobs will get killed by the Zombies. Okay, let's head back towards spawn area. Now, I did notice on the way down the stairs there's a, uh, oh, a bit of food there just to put the bar, but yeah, on the, on the way down the stairs I did notice there's this hole. Let's, oh, let's see if we can see down there. Uh, no, that's a bit deep. I think we'll leave that alone. Got no armor or very little armor on at the moment. Don't really want to waste it. Okay, so let's head back into spawn. Got the 
nether portals back again, but obviously we're um, not particularly well kitted out yet. I don't really want to go visiting the, the nether just yet. We'll leave that alone for a bit. And we have a workshop. Take what you need, leave what you don't need. It's a nice sort of community area, so as you can see, just odd junk and things like that gets thrown in there. And that's it at the moment. It's quite a nice way of just getting started. Looks like one person's built their house already. Let's have a look at that, see who that is. Oh, well, no, actually, no, what we'll do is we'll head off around here first. The market. So this is be where all the shops will go. I like the bridge. Very nice design, but nobody's set up any shops or anything yet. Okay, now we're going to have a look at the residential area. And whose house is it? Ah, oh, it's Bellenio. Blinging out with the redstone and the uh, iron. Very nice. Nobody else has built any houses or anything around here yet. But it's only been it's only been active for a few hours. Okay, what I'll do now is I head back over towards my base, which is over in that direction. Start doing some mining. See if I can build up my resources. Yay! I found the diamonds. Woo! Okay, so there's a few blocks there. Let's look. One, two, one, two, three four, five blocks I think not bad going and I've got myself a fortune pick as well so hopefully I'll be able to get a few out of this ok, back at spawn and a few more developing there you can see that there's a house being built up over there so we'll have to go and have a look at that later oh, and another new sign has appeared um, let's have a look at that members, ok so quite a nice touch here where everybody can write down where they're from so we can see where people are and obviously take account of different time time zones and things like that which is quite nice and as we come around here well Bellenio has upgraded his house a little bit from that little redstone house he's got himself quite a nice looking little castle can't really see how you get in there well that's since you have to go in from the roof oh hello horse and what's this oh, let's go back around this side here read the first sign plot reserved by chops plot reserved by chops 09 just for your information, plot reserved by jobs. I think he wants that one. Oh, and somebody else has got a house here. No sign up there to say whose it is, but looking quite nice being set into the mountain side. Okay, down this path here we have a sign that says Spawner. Huh. I wonder what this one is. Unfortunately I don't think it's going to be a, an iron foundry or a uh, XP farm like with the Enderman, unfortunately. But and get us started at least. Let's have a look and see what it is. Um, we've got that. Oh, some steps down. There is a little water drop there, but I don't fancy testing my luck dropping down into a one by one square, so we'll just take the cautious approach. Ah, oh, this looks like it. Yeah, there's the spawner. What sort of mobs are they? It's zombies. Okay, so pretty basic, but gives us a nice bit way of collecting XP and maybe the old drop or two. Okay, what we'll do then is we'll head back on out of here. And away we go. Yeah, it takes a such long time travelling around everywhere without interpoles, especially when you've been used to having them for so long. But I'm sure we'll get there in the end where we get back to the end again and get ourselves an ender ender. It's quite nice playing the game again without all of the benefits. Yeah, just basic iron armour. As you can see I've got a diamond sword after that last little bit of mining I did, but other than that it's all just basic stuff. It's quite nice starting again from scratch. Okay, so heading on back through the the main spawn area. Let's kind of have a look at that new build I looked at earlier. Round past the portals. And over towards this path. Chobs' base and Carter's base. Alright, oh, okay. They've got a combined base up here. That's uh, bouncing up the stairs. Okay, no sign on this one, but this looks very much like Chobs' base at the old on the old server, so that's probably Chobs' first base. And this one up on the mountain looks like Carter's. Um, I suppose we can go up the waterfall. 
please don't drown. I've got no macrophility or anything like that. Respiration. Oh. There we go. That's it. There we go. Ah, okay. We could have come out the stairs. Oh, don't. Okay, nice looking house. Obviously, somebody's been around the nether a little bit. Got some glowstone. Looks nice. Yeah, just a nice little balcony here. Okay, let's head on down the waterfall. That's good. Good about getting out. I like that. Nice touch. Okay, and away we go back down the stairs. Right, let's just pop up towards the uh, nether portals. Let's just have a quick look into the nether and see what it's like in there. Okay, as you can see, I've I've been in the nether already because there's a what's it tunnel here through towards my portal. Mr. T. Hobbs's treehouse, but we haven't got any hub or anything like that as yet, and it's still quite exposed and dangerous. Mr. Hobbs' tree house. So what I've done is I've built a, a house on top of the um, Darkwood Forest. It's one of the canopy forest, forests, which looks quite nice. And yeah, nice little house I've got here. A few basics. Coming on quite well. Okay, this rather noisy spawner here is a skeleton. I've found a skeleton in the corner. So I'll press my usual. Skeleton killer, which just popping down to a one hit kill. Start building up some XP and getting some arrows and things like that, which is going to be really helpful. If we get noisy. You can see how the XP builds up nice and quickly. I'd actually left it over for about five minutes and this. That's the number that I collected there, which is pretty handy. Oh, just pick those back up again, throw them up the top. That's it, and then they get picked up by the hoppers and drop down into here. Still come through. Oh, it looks like Chops wants to know where I am. Better return my back to him. And the skiddy. Oh, caught up. The skeleton. Spotter. Oh, oh, keep on missing them. Go on, throw them up higher. Oh, yeah, that's it. There we go. And then they get picked up by the uh, by the hoppers. Oh, looks like Chop doesn't know where he is. Okay, go into the nether. I'll meet him in there. Kill off these couple. Oh, one well, there enchanted. What did he do? Give me enchanted bow. Pick it up. Okay, let's go and find chops. Uh, that's it. I'll just show you the. I made a little corridor here from my portal. It goes to my base. I made another corridor round through to the skelly spawner. Okay, so heading back into the skelly spawner again. What are you doing in the wall, chops? Looks a bit weird. He's definitely there. Yeah. Let's just kill these trees off. Oh. Looks like you're in the Whoa. Oh, typo. Let's get rid of that. There he is. Hello, chops. Oh, he's stuck in the um. He's stuck. I don't think he was actually dancing. I think he was actually stuck. There we go. Oh, now he's gone back on there again. Because the chest is a little bit lower than the top of the stair brick, means you can't jump over it to get back out again. So I'll just let him know. Just stand on the step. So if he comes out, I can then put a step back in. That's how you come. Nope, can't get there yet. 
Nope, still can't place it. Come on, out of the way. That's it, there we go. Oh, he stepped over it again. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's see if I can place it back down again. Come on, out of the way. Can't place it when you're standing there. There we go. Now you can do it. A little bit further. Go on, next step up. That's it. There you go. Now you can stand quite happily killing without dropping it into the... Uh, on top of the chest. And I've got a little glass panel there. Oh. Can't really see it. Where are we going? Oh, it's still there. Oh, it's collected a bow. Got another pen there. Can't really do much whilst he's standing there. Okay, I'm going to have to go over 16 XP. up some of this XP that I've got so I'll head back to base. How about I use some of my XP? Don't really want to leave chops like that because it is exposed though there could be monster, uh, mobs coming in through from the corridor there from the cave so I'll just put that dirt block there. That way it stops any mobs from getting to him. Just let him know. Well, I've put a Dirt block to stop oops, stop stop any mobs attacking attacking yeah <laughs> can't type for enough right let's go head back to base so back along this tunnel A little bit basic, but it's functional. And that's all we need at the moment. We'll make it prettier later. Okay, so we go into my base. Done a few little adjustments up here since last time we were here. It all looks the same around this way. You can see I've got a nice little cattle and sheep farm going on there with multicoloured sheep. Oh, and unfortunately it does cause my PC to lock up a little bit. There we go, and it's back again. And you can see I've also extended the house out a little bit as well. Just give me a bit more room for all the extra things that I'm collecting. So a few more chests. Okay, so now I've got a few levels of XP. I'm going to repair some of these picks that I've got. So that's the first one. Lovely, and the second one. Yeah, that's great. So a couple of workhorse picks. Oh, I hate it when it does that, it makes me jump. Right, as you can see I've collected quite a few resources now, which is handy. Let's just remake the... Uh, what is it called? Anvil, there we go. Brain fade there for a second. Okay, and just repair this leather cap as well. Lovely, pull that back. Lots of bows and arrows from the skelly farm. So we're back at the skelly farm again. And Chops is back here again, just building up his XP. Okay, so we're putting these little black breaks here to stop any mobs from getting through. And I've started doing some mining around here, so if we just drop down. Oh, no, not into that level. A little bit further down. All the way down. I've already dug out bedrocky sort of level. And the reason why I'm mining down here, if we just press F3, there you go, you can see we're in extreme hills by him. Currently at level 9. So first level down there was at level 4. 5 and 4. So starting out here looking for emeralds. Okay, something a bit 
different now. Rather than it being something functional like a farm, I'm now doing something fun. Whilst watching Zombie Cleo on Hermitcraft, I noticed that they'd set up a game game of squares, it's called. And so I decided to build a similar sort of thing here on Frex. Um, and the way you do it, by putting down redstone like that, you mark off your square. On the, uh, the one on Hermitcraft, they were using lava for lighting, but obviously we haven't quite got not quite that advanced, so I'm using pumpkins and jack o' lanterns. And here we are, all finished. I've built a slightly large one, I think my one's 8x8, whereas the one on uh, Frix, I think, was 7x7 seven seven or 6x6, six six, something like that, so it's slightly larger. But as you see, when you put the redstone down it joins up and then when you've made a square you can put a bit of wool or something like that, a carpet in the middle and then whoever gets the most place in the most bits of carpets wins yeah something it's nice to do something a bit silly and a bit fun rather than always being farms all the time okay so now what we need to do is now we need to put a sign in make sure there's no mobs okay put my Workbench. Typically, I've got no signs, so just about got enough, I think, wood for to make the uh, signs. Let's have a look. Yes, I will. There's the sticks, and there's the blocks, and drop them. Right. Let's pop a sign down. Let people know what this is. I'd like to put my little equal signs. The game of squares. A few more equal signs at the bottom. Let's make it a bit longer actually. Uh, make the top one a bit longer as well. So the match, that's it. Lovely. Okay, we don't need that anymore, so we'll get rid of that. The game of squares. That's it. So at least that tells people what this is. I think we're going to need some instructions on here just to let people know what they're supposed to do. So I think I might head back over to my base and do that, but. First I'll just have to show you around here, so this great big pole here is King of the Ladder, made by Valenio. Never actually played King of the Ladder, so I'm not too sure it's involved, but I think the idea is supposed to get to the top first, I think. Not too sure. Hopefully I'll put some instructions down. Oh, oh no, Mr. Zombie. Goodbye, Mr. Zombie. Oh, die. Thank you. Okay, so we'll just go through to the entrance of this area to show you what it's all about. And we turn around and it's Fryland. Feel free to make your own games. Please donate, I need materials. Try and not remake any games. Feel free. Any ideas? Bye, Bolenio. So that's why I, just, I asked Bolenio if he was alright to make a Squares game, and he said, yep, sure. So that's what I did over there. Okay. So I've got the sign up there saying about the game of squares, and now I've also put in 30 of each, four different coloured carpets, 32 redstone, and the instruction book. So I'll just read the instructions out. The game of squares for two or four players. Each player takes a stack of carpet and a stack of redstone dust. Each player takes it in turns to place one redstone dust on the stone blocks. Next page. When the redstone dust forms a square, that player places their carpet on the glass block to signify their claim to that square. That player can then place another redstone dust. The game ends when all glass blocks are covered by carpet. Count the number of carpets placed by each player. The winner is the player with the most claimed squares. Reset the game by removing all the carpets and the redstone dust on the stone blocks, not on the wooden blocks. Have fun. OK, so we'll pop the instruction book back. Yeah, it's good fun making that. So I'll just do a quick demonstration of how it works. So. Get some redstone dust, where is it? Where's my redstone dust? There it is. So you put redstone dust down, make a square, and then put a carpet down, and the light can still shine through from the jack o' lantern. So it still keeps the place well lit. Nice and easy to identify who's who's. Okay, so and then when you finish the game, you just clear it all away like that, leaving the dark wood redstone. Okay, 
just to make things a bit easier I've made these stairs up so you've got little viewing platforms at the top now so you can see the whole of the board in one go just makes it a lot easier than for identifying where the next move could be and there's two of these viewing platforms one on each side so you can then get a good overview of the whole of the board game at the same time 